think he make decision just because of to gain fame or I doubt. I doubt. I don't think so. No. Do you think he's is a genuine guy? Yeah. I, I think he's I, I think he says what's in his mind. Yeah. He says yeah. And he makes a lot of claims about Islam that Islam is a solution. Islam would. Uh, I, haven't, this current... I haven't heard too much what he said about Islam. All yeah. I know is he was reading the Quran. So. Yeah, he, he said about that, you know, we don't have the social balance, basically. Yeah. Society is failing in every direction. Why? Why the society is failing? What do you think? Yeah. What? what? Don't, have, don't have, like, something to... The guide? Yeah, guide, guidance. What, what about you? What do you think? Society's been. I don't think it's um. I don't think it's our moral guidance. I think it's just a uh, maybe corruption really. I think that's that's what he did. Yeah. So the corruption. If you have a corruption in a society, yeah. the society would not function. Of course. Do you agree? Yeah. And that's why, because of corruption, you need guidance. And at the moment, we don't know our guidance because our social structure. We don't have any boundaries. You can call yourself a broccoli. You can call yourself anything. You know. Honestly, there was a guy, I think he, he raped a woman. So when police caught him, he said, no, I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a man, I'm a woman. So there are boundaries. So Islam comes and fix all those issues and also fix the issue about our own existence and the existence of this, everything around us. What's your position? Do you believe in a creator or what about you? I, I, I don't believe in a creator. Have you looked into it uh, rationally or you yeah, didn't look into it? I've been by a lot because uh, I'm yeah. born Christian. Yeah, so we're, yeah we're you're born Christian. Yeah, we're from a Christian background. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My, my family's quite, my mum is quite Christian as well. Quite Christian, quite yeah. Christian so, but I've been thinking about it a lot. So as I was growing up, I just, I just don't really, uh, I don't believe in that. But do you believe, how do you see Jesus? Do you see him as a God? I see him as a prophet. Just a prophet. Do you know what? If you see him as a prophet, Shake me hand, shake my hand. I wanted to shake. <laughs> you, if you believe in a prophet, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, Do you know which religion believes that he is a prophet? Uh, yeah. yeah. Islam. Yeah. So basically, if you believe Allah, the Creator, you also believe. Yeah. You are a believer in a God? No. But I don't believe. In, I don't believe in God. No. Okay. But when you say prophet, prophet is someone okay, uh, assigned by God. Uh, that was the definition me, of prophet. Let me that. Um, okay. I, I think he could be a prophet. Not, but he wasn't the sound by God. It was just the, the way he spoke, the way he was outgoing, yeah, all yeah. his teachings. I think yeah. that was uh, not not in the times that it was a prophecy, where it's more of a it's like a moral moral leader, really, like a moral teacher. So yeah. So what we say is so he acts he acts like prophet, but I don't uh, necessarily believe in the term prophet saying that there's a prophecy set by a creator. That's not that's not what I believe. In. So I, uh, let me make it maybe clear. So do you believe there is a higher being? Okay, so when you assign anyone as a God messenger or a prophet, if you don't believe he's coming from a higher authority, then you actually seeing that he's a man, nothing else. Yes. But have you looked into any rational arguments? Uh, such as? Such as like, if, shall I give you one and maybe you can yeah. think of it? We need to hurry up though, we shall, so. shall I show you in this Quran, yeah? Maybe you can have a look, yeah? Quran, yeah. Yeah. Because you know you guys are sincere, honestly, and you have not looked into it, so I don't want to confuse your mind, right? Sorry, I was about to drop, but uh, yeah, yeah, I wanted to show you. Yeah? So this is in chapter fifty-two, yeah. Uh, chapter fifty-two. I'm in a slow mood today, right? I have been interested in reading the Quran though. Yeah, that's why I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. So I just want to show you that argument. Maybe think about it. Think about how you feel it. Because belief is not something you can push down to someone, right? It is whether you convinced with looking into it, right? And I just wanted to share as, as a friend in humanity, you know, I just like to share with you. So Allah said, Am khuliqu min ghayri shayin amhumul khaliqun am khaliqu samawati wal ardi bal la yuqinun. So Allah saying, were they created by nothing or they are the creator of themselves so there is two question here first question is we see the creation do we agree that we are creation 
Yeah, yeah. We agree that I agree, you you are creation, I am creation, and everything yeah. else, right? We just disagree about the creator. That's yeah. yeah, we are coming to that, but we agree that we exist. Yes, and the creation exists. So Allah asking, can this creation come from nothingness? No, of course not. No, means Logi logically, logically and mathematically. You know, what I like yeah, zero plus zero, even mathematically not possible. Yeah. Then second pos possibility, Allah is saying. Can something create by itself? Means, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, did you give birth to yourself? No. I don't think so. No. no. Of course not. No, it's an absurd idea. You have to exist before your existence, which is an absurd idea. Yeah. Someone will say, crazy, this man is gone, right? <laughs> so now Allah is saying, then, then, as a logical person, what option are we left off with? We, we were created. Higher being. Right? Now, that higher being must be unlike the creation. Do you agree? Yeah. That being must be all powerful because we see the creation. To create something from nothing. Yeah, exactly. And then the powerful, that, that being must be intelligent. You agree? All knowing, intelligent, and he must have the will and power, intelligence, all of these things, right? That is the God we believe in. So, argument, yeah. That is the Islamic God. And now let me show you that, that that's the definition of God. And any rational being would not deny that. Right? Matthew, uh, it was nice talking to you, but let me just show you. There are other features in this uh, translation. Yeah, so it's here. <coughs> Say he is God who is one. Yeah? He doesn't mean that he's a man. Allah will clarify it. Yeah? yeah. He doesn't mean he's a man. God, the eternal refuge, means some something always exists, something that we all depend on, but Allah is independent. Means I drink, sleep, eat, but the creator is providing that to me, but he is not needing of this. Now imagine Matthew, he's sustainer, he's sending rains, oxygen, if he stopped it, we are not giving any money, are we? Now imagine the one who's giving free, he said, I'm going to switch it off, I'm not going to give any more. What will happen? If, uh, what, sir? Say again. if the creator giving you oxygen, yeah, you yeah, agree? Okay, if he stops, right. Yeah, if you yeah. stop it, will we survive? Of course not. Finish. So, but he doesn't need that to survive himself. Then he is saying he neither begets nor is born. Means he is refuting idea. Yes. Imagine Matthew. I said, I said to people, you are a liar. Argument sake, you are a good man. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying. What would you do? You tell people that Lord, I am not a liar. So Allah is telling. There are religious belief that they make Jesus into son of God and they attributed God as a son Allah is agreeing or refuting refuting means no don't say that it makes no sense and then Allah said nor is there to him any equivalent means you cannot compare anything with God that's how we rationally conclude that is the creator we believe in do you think that creator would leave you, Matthew, what's your name, brother? Matthias. Matthias. Yeah. Matthew and Matthias. Mm. Did you guys chose by the name to become friend or? Uh, no, your name is very similar. Friends since, uh, yeah, since childhood. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, do you think that creator, that all wise, we said he, is, he should be all wise, yeah. yeah? Do you think an all wise entity would create this universe without a purpose? Make no sense. Then, what is our purpose? How do I know? Yeah, he should communicate. And the medium of communication is through prophets. 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 Do you have any doubt that he should communicate any other way? Yeah. Imagine if God sent angel. You would say, Matthew said, look, angel can do. Oh, I can't do, right? 
but the messenger sent by human, human being is a messenger Allah said. So that Matthew, Matthias and Aziz, we have no excuse for not doing so. And the messenger came with a message, clear message. So God sent humanity messengers, prophets, Abraham, Noah, Adam, Jesus, Moses, Jacob, Jonah, Muhammad, peace be upon him, all of them came with one message. Do you know what that message is? That message is that being we refer to Allah, acknowledge Him, and do not worship anything aside with Allah or beside Allah. Is that message easily understandable or is it a difficult message? It's understandable, but um, why would Allah mind being worshipped alongside something else? If it's a different religion, isn't that worshipping the same Fantastic God? Fantastic question. Who gives everything that you receive? Uh, what do you mean? It's just, it's, like it's your like water, oxygen, this beautiful life. Who gives you? Well, I, can't, I, don't, know, I don't know the creator because again, no. I, don't, I don't believe in a God, I think. No, I have shown you through rationally. Of course, in, in yeah. the argument, the creator. Yeah. Yeah, Allah, yeah. Do you disagree that it's not Allah? Can you deny this argument? That there's a, a yeah. creator? I think... I think no one can because no one knows. That's why. That's why. I'm yeah. So we make decision based on observation. Can I just say that? Yeah, sure. For a while now, I'm speaking to my Muslim friend. I have been interested in reading the Quran. Yeah, yes. So. I'll, I'll give you this one. I'll give. You. Yes. I'll take it. Then. Yes, I'll def definitely. I'll this, yeah. And definitely. I'm oh, sorry. I need to cut the show. Yeah, yeah. No, that's why. That's why I'm <laughs> going to give it to you. Just, you know, imagine, as a man, I'm a man, right? Simple man. If anyone who come back come to me or I speak to you we share information and then you don't take the information as granted you should be skeptic about it you research it and then you make your judgment Islam tells us to be skeptic in a certain degree but don't be hyper skeptic when you look into the Quran you will see that this if you openly read it without a prejudiced mind you will see indeed this is coming from a, a source that who knows everything. The moment you will realize who knows everything is all wise, it is necessary for who is reading to submit to this message. Why? Because this message tells you two things, two final destinations, paradise and hellfire. And Allah is not beating around the bush. Islam's message is simple. This life is test. Allah sent messengers and books every generation to remind them So this life has a purpose. And Allah, you mentioned the question that why Allah needs worship. So I said, if Allah is the creator of everything and the provider of everything, obviously we cannot give any share of worship to anybody else. Imagine if whole of your life this friend helped you. And if you say never thank you to him, just oh, think about that. You and can now, say, you can say thank you to multiple, multiple people. I can say thank you to him. And turn to say thank no, no, no. You. Fine. Whoever, let's say I didn't do anything, but he done everything for you, everything. But what you have did, you given, you didn't give him thank you. You started giving me thank you. Oh, I say thank you and then thank you. Thank to you. Both, both now, people. now when Allah gives, Allah requires full submission. Do you know why? Because Allah is the soul maker. He doesn't need anybody else to help him. Whatever you receiving is purely from him. Your parents cannot give you this, whatever Allah can give you. Allah give you life. Allah give you oxygen. All of the creation are depend on him. So therefore, it is a no brainer. We should give full surrender to him and start showing his gratitude. Simplistic. I don't want to complicate message. Very simple. We'll, look, we'll read it. We'll read Ever read? Of course. What's your name? Aziz. Aziz. It was ni nice to meet you, Matthew nice and Matthias. Yeah. Nice it was a pleasure talking to you. Of course. But remember, life is very short. You don't know the date of death. I don't know. But we have to make that decision because the message contains a threat and rewarding information. Yeah? So we have to choose either of them. Look after yourself. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you.